Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Northwest Area Rangers football. Joining us is the head coach, Carl Major. Well, Carl, uh, here we are at uh, double session times for everybody. Uh, tell us about your outlook for this season. Well, okay, we're returning a lot of uh, veterans from last year's 8 and 2 team, and uh, expectations are high. We had a good week of, uh, we actually go, we call it a long session. We, we go from 4 to 8 at nighttime. Uh, we live way out in the country. It's hard to get the kids there twice a day, so that seems what works best for us. Coach, uh, you returned some speed, that's for sure. That's the first thing I think that pops out. Uh, tell us about the Rangers and, and some of the guys. And One of them's a heck of a track guy, and uh, he's he's turning heads all over the place the last couple of years. Yeah, Tyler Berger, I'll tell you, he, he's really came on last year at the end of the season there. He got, played his ninth grade year, then he didn't play his tenth grade, and he came back his junior year. And it took him a little time to get his feelings and legs and his uh, instincts back. But I'll tell you, this year you could just see he's ready to go. And, you know, we got Nick Long, the high race speed, led the uh, Long Valley Conference in receiving. And uh, yeah, we're, we're real excited on our whole team speed that we have this season. And then uh, throwing the Mazanki kid in the backfield, and uh, you got a nice punch there. Oh, yeah, you got Logan at quarterback, Mazanki at running back, and you know, them three – between Logan, Longy, and Mazonk, you know, they're all first team all line by conference players and, you know, returning them, they all been up for four years. It's it's just a nice uh feeling you have as a coach and outlook of the season looks really good. But you know, right now everybody's undefeated and everybody's looking to have the best record of the season. So you know, all that and take that and throw it out the window if you don't produce the first game. Well talk about your development there, your quarterback Logan Wommelsdorf over the years, uh Heck of a kid and a lot of experience for him. He could really chuck the football. Well, that what's been nice having that, you know, four year quarterback up there with you. He knows your system inside and out. You, you, you have the capabilities of running some different stuff than you normally would with a one year or two year quarterback. You know, he, he has the football instincts. We can, we can come to the line and audible a lot of things. He, he understands it. He understands that there's one safety, two safeties, where the, the holes to throw the football in. And it just makes your job as a coach so much easier when you have that experience. But, you know, it took, you know, a couple of years to get where we are now. And, uh, you know, we're finally getting the respect. Now we just got to keep the respect by playing with these guys and, and, and winning the games. Doesn't matter if it's one point or a hundred points. A win's a win, but you start losing and all that. Like I said, you throw that out the door. Carl Major, the head coach at Northwest Area, joining us here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Well, Carl, going from single A to double A, um, you know, you're going to play some similarity uh, with the teams and the schedule that you have. But uh, nonetheless, when it all shakes out, uh, if you guys are in the hunt, you're going to try to compete for a district championship. But again, it'll be double A. Yeah. Well, we've been single A since I've been there. And, you know, it's in the past, single A has been the tougher. And then uh, double A, if some of the records would you would have made two A football where you didn't make the single A playoffs. And we've been lucky enough we made playoffs every year. But, uh, you know, we played two A schedule, you know, all the way through now. I think it's different now. We're going two A with the district playoffs, which is good, you know. You know, Dunmore moved up, Southern Columbia moved up. You know, there's a heck of a bracket there coming through to get this state and districts. And uh, it's respectful. And as you do, you know, win a district title or get that opportunity to play in one, it's going to be one heck of a football game. It ain't going to be no push through. Coach, you uh, you get challenged early with two traditional programs, both from the Lackawanna Football Conference, Lakeland and Dunmore. What a way to start the season. That's a real bang. Sure. You know, and that's going to end all the hype that we've been getting. And if you don't produce against the Lakeland yeah, and play four quarters of football, you're going to beat. Then you definitely know if you don't play four quarters against Dunmore, you're in big trouble. You know, they've got great coaching, you know, great traditions and, and players, and, and that's where we're striving to be, to, to say, hey, we're playing Northwest, you better be ready to go. And, you know, the last seven years we built a program up and uh, built a field house, we did a field, and the kids did it, and that's how you, I feel you build programs, is hard work and dedication from your kids and parents and your booster clubs and your school, and uh, we're at the point where I feel we can play at that level with them, guys, and we'll see how things pan out this year. 
Well, Carl Major uh, doing it the, the way that, uh, you know, some uh, some people say you should do it. You get everybody involved. Everybody gets their hands in it. They get a little bit dirty, as you said, building the field house, getting the parents involved. So everybody's got a hand in it, and they're all part of this uh, community of football at Northwest Area. Uh, Coach, when you talk about uh, the, the positives this year, you mentioned the speed. How about the physicality of your team? I think you're excited about that as well. Well, I'll tell you, in the past, we always had a 6'4 guy, 6'5 guy at the line of scrimmage. And, you know, John Moss going to Shippensburg on scholarship. I mean, he's done a great job for us over the years. But this year's line, I'll tell you, we're, we're a 6'1, 6'4. We have one guy at 6'2, but we're all like 255 across the front. And uh, they've been working really hard. Coach Lee's been doing a great job with them. And uh, we've been some strongman competitions. And uh, St. Joe's Prep had a real big line, it was all hyped up. And we took a struggle war and then first place. I mean, the kids are explosive. They're quick all around with our skill guys, with our linemen. And it's something we never had at Northwest all com- combined it together with the team speed that we have. And I, I feel we, we're going to be a force to be reckoned with if we can just stay calm and play our football and play four quarters. And the biggest thing is to stay healthy. And I know every coach says that, stay healthy, stay healthy. But – this day and age, you know, the thing of having 50 players is the past. You know, you have 30, 20, you know, 30 to 20 players. Some teams have 20. We have 32, you know, and that's the biggest thing right now is staying healthy and uh, keeping your guys on the field. Well, that was uh, where I was going to go next is uh, one of the challenges you and I have spoke about your team this year is the numbers, you know, you're in low 30s. But uh, other than that, what are some things that you wanted to concentrate on in the off season to make sure these kids worked at? things you watched on film last year or things you saw on the sidelines say, hey, we could do a better job at this? I really feel it's conditioning. Just conditioning. We've been just conditioning and conditioning, and when we thought we did, we did more. And that's one thing I, I seen on the field last year. You know, I seen like Mazanki, he get slow down a little bit and and get a little tired. You know, we got some guys going two ways, and it's not easy. You know, you're, you're asking a lot out of them. Uh, the, the mental part and the physical part of playing football, they have down. It's just keep them physically fit to do a play after play after play. Carl Major uh, always talking positively about uh, – what he has there at Northwest Area, and of course uh, his kids resemble that and some success on the football field there for the Northwest Area Rangers. Uh, Carl, we appreciate your time as always and look forward to seeing you to start the season. Well, John, we always appreciate the coverage and uh, it means a lot to our program to get the Ranger name out there in Northwest High School and the kids are proud and the uh, school district is proud and without you guys having these shows, it wouldn't mean nothing. Northwest Area Rangers here on the John Mandola Show. Driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.